Welcome back to another video, everybody. In today's video, we have some really, really fun things planned and unusual things planned. Uh, today, we are actually in a new location. We are not in Utah anymore. We are in Denver, Colorado, and uh, our buddy Life Apollos picked us up this morning in this crazy Macan Turbo. Check this thing out. And we are at the Ferrari dealership here in Denver. Now, uh, like I said, we have some pretty crazy things planned for today. We uh, we kind of have access to like every car here. And uh, James is gonna go through and pick out his favorite cars and start them up. So we'll get some cool, cool starts for you guys. And then uh, I think we're leaving in a GTC4 Luso. More to come on that. Let's go check out what they have in here. Thirty. Choose wisely. GTO. This is the most expensive one, I think. Yeah, GTO, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check out the interior on this 599 GTO. Like the floor is like metal, which is pretty cool. So you got the white tack up there. Okay, so that 599 is really cool, but I think my favorite car here is this F430, which I think James is gonna start up. S line is awesome. S line exhaust. Guys, check out this interior on this F430. So yeah, this is probably my favorite car here. I don't know if I've ever seen an F430 with this red interior. It's like a, a dark red, kind of maroonish, with like these carbon fiber bucket seats. And the exhaust to match. That exhaust is stupid loud. So there's an S-Line aftermarket exhaust. 430 coupe has aged so well. <laughs> What's next, James? Pick a key, Clayton. Um, that one. Okay. What does that go to? I think it's, it's a 488 or 812 super fast. Press the unlock button, see what see what goes off. That's pretty loud. Portofino. All right. Nice. <laughs> Definitely not too loud. I think the next startup we're gonna get is this Portofino right here. I haven't even seen the inside on one of these, so let's check it out together. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, the smell in here is so good. That steering wheel is really, really cool. Nice. Oh yeah, you got the floating gear select thing here. That's pretty cool. So that F430 over there may be my favorite one here, but a close second may surprise you. My close second favorite Ferrari here is actually this 1995 456 because it's got the V12 in the front, rear wheel drive, and it's got the gated manual. 
It's locked right now, or else I showed you guys the inside. Maybe they'll unlock it for us later. But this car is really cool. Some people don't really like the styling of it. And I can kind of understand why, but I think this car is really, really cool. Now this example here only has 20,000 miles on it. Okay, so we're actually getting the keys to the 456 so I can bring you guys inside the cab and you can see the gated manual that I was talking about. So like I said, let me focus it. Like I said, there's 20,000 miles on this example. But look at this thing, this thing's so cool. Yeah, I really like this car. It may seem a little dated, but I kind of I kind of like it. I dig it. And and this car has four seats. So you can, you know, hang out with three friends. Let's go check out the engine. <clears throat> so if you want to just pull the car and I'm actually Look how cool it is. The hood goes around the headlights and the headlights pop up too. V12. Yeah, this car's sweet. All right, so we were gonna start it up and it was dead. So we have to jump start it. Get it some power. There it goes. Oh, I think I think we get to start it up. Heck yeah. Make sure we the brakes on. Okay, we got the little key right here. Very nice. Not super loud, but that's what you'd expect in a uh, in a GT car like this. Look at look how cool this is. You got like little cubbies, little pockets. Look at the radio in here. The radio's down here by your shifter. I think that is so cool. You got your ashtray, of course. <laughs> Old Ferraris are so funny. Like this right here, it just cracks me up. I love it. All right, Clayton. All right. Hop on. Hop on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so maybe not for adults. No, maybe not, but it maybe sort of two works. adults and two dogs. Yes, I <laughs> check out the trunk. We got a 10 disc magazine built by Ferrari. Just in case you want to throw 10 CDs in the trunk here and you can uh, interchange them up on the front there. It's so noisy in there. So, along the same lines as these old Ferraris here that I really, really like, they have another really special car in the front showroom I'm going to show you guys. It's also an old car, but you're gonna like it. Check it out. Lamborghini Countach. Black with the gold wheels. Probably my favorite spec. So a pretty fun uh, Lamborghini Countach story for you guys. I started my detailing company in Park City almost six years ago. And about a year into the company, you know, I was getting a good feel for it. I was doing pretty good. And I got a random call from somebody who was driving through town, staying at a, a budget hotel, who was driving his Lamborghini Countach across the country and was stopping in Park City for a wedding. And uh, his spec was almost identical to this one. And his had 17,000 kilometers when I detailed it. And uh, man, I was like, I was on a high that day. I mean, I was I was used to detailing like, uh, you know, a Subaru here, a Subaru there, an Audi, and then boom, out of nowhere, Lamborghini Countach. That was probably my favorite day detailing. One of them, one of them. I have a lot of favorite days detailing. Uh, okay, so this dealership is really, really, really cool. So they are allowing James and I to drive the Lamborghini Countach to go get food, to go get lunch. Uh, I never thought I'd be able to ride in a Lamborghini Countach, so this is gonna be really, really cool. They're opening the doors right now for us. We're gonna get a cold start? I think so. 
So you guys get to watch me struggle to get into the passenger seat here. I guess you just take a seat on the uh, the side bolster and then you just plop yourself in. And then of course you have to sit sideways. Let's do this. So the dashboard on the passenger side here is a perfect vlogging oh, no shelf. Way. Yeah. Oh that's sick, you're right. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a, a good view from outside. Oh yeah, next to the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get the camera back in. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right, we just arrived at lunch. We are at Raising Cane's Chicken. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can gracefully get out of this thing. Uh, right, man. Dude, I want one. <laughs> I want one. Oh, hey, that was pretty good. The door's gonna come down and hit you. Yeah. Oh, dude, like a pro. Assuming the CEO of Racing Kings is watching today's video, oh, please, please, my please goodness. Not, we're begging you to open up a Canes in the beautiful city of Utah. Yeah. Yeah, they have a Canes in Bahrain, but not Utah. <laughs> We gotta do it for Instagram. The park right here, get a picture with Canes. All right, James finally made it back to the dealership and we gotta say goodbye to the Countach. But what a fun day, man. Bye, Countach. So I just did one more walk around the dealership. I checked out that 456 again. I really like that one. But I think we are about to head out and I think James pulled off uh, getting us a GTC4 Lusso for the rest of the weekend. I think this is the one that we're gonna be taking. It's got the ski rack on there with the sea suckers. I think so, I think so. We're gonna be getting the max, well not the maximum use because we only have three people, but you know what I mean. Guys, check how fast the secret compartment opens. <laughs> it only goes like that deep. It's made out of metal though. Oh yeah, I got this one too. 